Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Uh, I'm going to do a video today on Zoom covering polling, but a couple of quick announcements is the next video that I'm going to make on Zoom today is March 20th, so this will be out on Monday, which will be the 23rd. I'm going to have a video because I've been flooded with questions on how to use Zoom's virtual background. There is a video virtual background and an image virtual background and everyone keeps asking about the video one so I'll cover that. I'm going to talk about troubleshooting issues like why it doesn't work, why it's not picking up your videos, how to even enable that and then someone even asked me can I turn the video virtual background off for everyone at my company because I guess maybe it's going crazy or something so I'll show you how to do that too. But today's video uh, it's going to cover polling and how to save your poll questions in Zoom. I've already made one video on how to do polling, so I'm not going to co recover that again, but I'll put a link to that down below. And one other quick announcement. Keyboard shortcuts in Zoom are great. So I, my last... Hold tight. Sorry about that. So my last Zoom video was on keyboard shortcuts for hosts and participants. This was just probably last week and I wrote this blog post that I'll also put down below. But uh, Christian who manages my website says, hey great, you did it for the Windows people but you didn't do the keyboard shortcuts for the Mac people. So just to show you this, here is Windows which I have. So there they are. So he went and took, I don't have a Mac, so he went and took my keyboard shortcuts for Windows and he made one of these for the Mac people. So it's a one pager. You can download it from my website. Uh, we went through every one of these and tested them because he had a, he has a Mac and they all worked. So I've got them for Windows and I got them for Mac. But let's go ahead and jump in today to how to do save your polling questions. All right, let me show you how to save your polling questions. So let me give you an example of it first. I'm gonna go ahead and just start a new meeting. I should pop up on the screen. Hello, hello, there I am. Um, if you notice down in my controls at the bottom, I'm the host, so I'm the only one that sees this is polls. I'll show you how I turned it on first in just a second. But here's the question that someone asked me on my YouTube channel is, can you save the questions? So if I hit polls, I just made two uh, different polls. One has two questions. The next one has a retreat. So I may do the icebreaker to start this meeting. Let me get that off there. I may do the icebreaker to start the meeting. And then I may come back and do the retreat after I talk about my slide deck about how well we did and we're going on a retreat next year. So whenever you make a question it always is going to take you to the Zoom website so you don't do it in the Zoom application. So even if I hit edit right here, watch, it's loading the Zoom website and it jumps me right into the questions and I could add another question. I'm going to put in here, watch this, test. I'm just making this up so you can see it. Test, test, option one, option two. So act like that's a real question. Type your question. Uh, edit. What is your favorite color? Single answer. Blue, red, green. Blue, red, green. Other colors I could put in there. I'm done. I'm going to hit save. So, if I were to stop that meeting that I was in, which I'm going to do, I start another meeting, those poll questions are always going to be available to me. Polls. I should have three. One, two, there's a third one I asked third one I added. So 
Here's the only thing I found though um, that works with your personal meeting ID. So let me just end this meeting again real quick. So here I go back to the web. I'm back in my Zoom account. I've signed in already. If I go to meetings over here to the left, well, I've signed in already. If I go to meetings over here on the left, upcoming meetings, previous, it is with your personal meeting room. If you scroll to the bottom, there are those questions. So as long as you're using your personal meeting ID, the poll questions will always be available to you. And remember, you don't have to answer them. The other option is how did I turn polling on? That is over here to the left under settings. I don't feel like searching through here, so I'm just going to do control F polls by default. One more. There it is. By default, that is turned off. So I slid it over, checked it to turn on. They even have a little help feature here that what version do you have to have to use this? So that is how you can have saved poll questions and turn that feature on. And again, just a reminder, it does not work. Those questions are not available if you schedule a meeting and you use and you don't it only works with your personal meeting ID. So if I did generate automatically and schedule a meeting, those questions will not be there, but I could go and manually add them to it. So I recommend, I recommend you type your questions in either uh, some word processing program, whether it's Microsoft Word, or if you use Google Docs, or even Notepad, I don't care. Put your questions there and save them. That way you can just do a copy and paste if you need them. I appreciate your time. Join me next week. Here we go. Join me on Monday morning when I'm going to show you what everyone keeps asking me about. That is a virtual background image. Here's another image. I don't even have a green screen, by the way. That's what's really cool about this. Actually, I do have a green screen, but I'm not using it. But here's the one people are asking me about. That is a video virtual background. We will troubleshoot that because some people are saying it doesn't work. Uh, I'll show you how to add your own video. And I'll even probably at some point discuss whether to have the green screen or not running. And I'll even tell you about this feature right here, mirror my video. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep the questions coming. Have a good day.